This video presentation contains a demonstration of the AIM Vascular Mapping Kit with the Ink Delivery System. It is recommended that you perform your evaluation and measurements of the anatomy prior to applying the AIM device to your transducer. Upon completing your evaluation of the target anatomy, ensure that a generous layer of coupling gel remains on the skin to aid in the delivery of the ink marks. Open the AIM kit and have it available for use. Use a towelette from the AIM kit to thoroughly remove the coupling gel from the transducer. To apply the AIM device to the transducer, first remove the paper backing. As you scan distally, this is the leading edge of the transducer, and this is the trailing edge. This is the scanning surface of the transducer. The AIM device should be applied approximately 5 millimeters above the scanning surface of the transducer. Center the AIM device on the trailing edge and adhere it to the transducer. Apply the shadow guide. First remove the paper backing. Pull the shadow guide across the scanning surface of the transducer. Firmly adhere the shadow guide to the transducer by smoothing it onto the transducer as shown. Ensure that there are no residual air bubbles present in the shadow guide on the scanning surface of the transducer. If so, remove the shadow guide and reapply as needed. This demonstrates the optimal application of the AIM device. Depress the actuator and remove the ink cap by twisting it. After you have applied the AIM device and shadow guide accurately to the transducer, adjust one focal zone on your ultrasound system to the near field of your ultrasound image. Notice the delineation of the reference lines produced by the shadow guide once the focal zone is properly adjusted. Center the target anatomy between the two reference lines. To deliver an ink mark, first compress the centered anatomy with the transducer, then squeeze the actuator. This image shows the target anatomy centered between the reference lines and the subsequent compression of the anatomy and delivery of the mark. Continue the previously described technique of centering, compressing, and marking along the length of the target anatomy. When you are finished marking the target anatomy, Utilize the towelettes to thoroughly remove the gel and residual ink. It is recommended that you wipe the skin in one direction, as demonstrated here. Allow the skin to dry adequately prior to using the accessory skin marker. Please discard the used AIM kit appropriately upon completing your procedure. 